Hi there, YouTube. This is my fourth video. My name's Joey, but you already know that. So, alright, I'm going to try not to uh, turn my head. I'm not going gonna to try not to uh, hopefully have any, just any issues. I'm just going to sit here and just actually speak from the heart, but also I have paper that I wrote down some of the stuff, just, you know, a little advance. I want to go back to uh, where I left off and stuff about Paul. I'm just going to recap that part. Um, Paul said, like, one of the biggest issues Paul had is with sin. So, back then, sin means to dishonor God, just like when now, sin nowadays, it's always meant to dishonor God. Sin strays you away from God. The more you sin, the more you do wicked in his eyes, the more you live for yourself, you're not living for God, the harder it is to walk a straight path, the harder it is to be a good Christian, the harder it is, and then the more you stray away, the the easier it is to get lost and stay lost, the easier it is to just live for yourself, to not even to think about the consequences, not even fear the consequences. I feel like as people, we believe, you know, like a lot of people believe that God doesn't exist, or a lot of people believe that, oh, well, I'm living uh, according to his word, I mean, I repent, repent is good, and praying every day is good, but you also have to study works, you have to study on the Bible, you have to, you have to do more than just, you have to do more than just, oh, okay, I try not to sin, but I sin every day, and if I do sin, I repent, that's great, yeah, I say that's great, and, but the question is, are you living for yourself, or are you living for God? You have to ask yourself at the end of the day, is God, you know, proud of where I am? Is God, am I living for God or am I living for myself? So, I just want to remind people that you make God number one in your life and everything else will follow. And don't fear that, if, oh, if I put God first, if I put him first, what if he does to me what he did to Joe? Takes away my family, takes away my kids, my husband, my wife, my you know my uh, job, my home. I mean, what did God do? He tested Job because Job was righteous. Job trusted him, and the devil. The only reason that stuff happened was because you know God allowed it. The devil was like, okay, well, can I do this? Can I do this? And he said. Fine, you can do this, but you won't break him. And God knew that no matter what the devil did and what basically got taken away from Job, he knew that Job wasn't going to stray away from him. He knew, and I, I, I want to say that I would have that same mentality, but I'm afraid that if I lost everything, I wouldn't lose my faith in God. But... I mean, I'd be devastated, but I mean, that's the part right there where the devil takes hold because then you're like, okay, well, you're afraid. So that's where I lean my trust on God. That's where I lean every day and pray to him every day. I talk to him every day. I do, I do my best. So I go outside and I see a stranger. I say, God loves you. And God knows I'm trying. And now I'm making these videos and something else that I'm doing. And I gotta start going back on my Instagram and doing stuff on there too, because I haven't done much on there either. But I'm gonna read a couple quotes to you, and uh, that I got written down real quick. And I just want you all to hear these, and I want you guys to yourself uh, do some study and some research and just you know everything else. And um, let me look real quick. All right, Proverbs three five. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. And, I mean, it's true and that's what I do. I don't lean on my own heart, my own understanding. I don't lean on what I think or what I believe. Uh, Psalm 31, 4 through 6. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. 
So if you ever feel like you're in a bad situation, don't get mad and don't, you know, feel like, oh, I'm going to lose this job and I didn't do it. It wasn't my fault or such and such. And this happened. Trusting God and he will shine the light on the truth. And that's the other, you know, I mean, people think, well, if someone, you know, screws me over or this or this, I have to get back at them. But that's, you know, God says vengeance is his. So remember that if you act in according to that, you're going against the Bible because you're going against God's word. Let him have the vengeance. Let God, because his punishment, I guarantee you, will be way more severe than anything you can do to anybody. And if you kill someone, I don't I mean, I wouldn't want that on my hands unless it was self-defense. But for me or my family, that's the only time I would ever do that. But uh, I'm going to read one more quote from uh, the Bible, Proverbs 3, 6. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. So another way to me, that means right there, though, too, acknowledge him every day. Acknowledge him, pray to him, talk to him, meditate on the word, seek him, and he will make straight your path. He will make you a righteous person. He, if you, if you truly do seek him though, and you truly try to make him number one in your life. You truly try to be a good Christian, a good hearted person. And by that, you have to acknowledge that you have faults in yourself. You have sins and you know, you got to overcome those sins only through the blood of Jesus. Are we saved and only through the blood of Jesus and through God's mercy and Jesus and their love and everything that they can offer us. It's more than enough. To overcome sin, to overcome anger, jealousy, rage, the thoughts that go on in a person's head. I mean, you know, like, I don't know about a lot of you guys, but I know the devil attacks me on a daily basis with just stupid thoughts in my head and just everything else that comes on in my head. And I mean, I pray every day and I don't read the Bible every single day, but it's a habit that I want to start to get into again. And, um... Anyways, God's been blessing us a lot. He's blessed. Um, I have another job now, Jiffy Trip. <laughs> and um, I don't know. I just I feel like things are starting to change, starting to get a little bit better for myself, my my mental, physical being, my, my state, state of mind and everything, I guess. And hopefully soon then me and my family, me and my brother, will get a gym membership. We'll both be able to lose. I'll lose my chubby cheeks. He'll lose, you know, we'll both lose our, I got a beer gut, he's got a, he's got a whatever that, but like I said, and I'm, I'm working on the, the not drinking part, or if I do drink, I only have a couple drinks, but I think I just got to give it up, because, you know, I don't drink every day and stuff, I'm doing better at that, at not drinking like I used to, and me, and, uh, anyways, um, I don't know what else to say at this very moment, I just, you know, remember God loves you and he loves everybody and pray for your enemies. Don't, you know, don't take revenge. Pray for, you know, a stranger. You know, if you see someone in need and you can't help them, walk up to them, have a prayer with them. Prayer is a powerful thing. It's one of the most powerful things, even more powerful than food, money, anything else. I mean, you see a person and you think they might be a lost soul. Go up to them, start a conversation or even just a stranger, period. Because you never know, you might have a good conversation with someone who believes and they might, you know, need you to go up and, you know, make their day. I've talked to many people just by telling them God loves you first and then it was, you know, like, hey, that, I, you know, and I mean, they, they were amazed and, you know, I mean, that's why I've been blessed just through those conversations with those people. And I see that God's given me more understanding of the Bible, more understanding of Him. I'm not going to say, oh, I got all this wisdom. I'm still learning. I'm, s I mean, you know, of course I'm still tripping, you know, not taking trips, but, you know, I'm still stumbling with, you know, like I said, like I drink a couple days a week or whatever, not like I used to, but that's the thing I got to overcome. And then, uh, anger a little bit towards my, you know, family a little bit. We have our issues, but, um, you know, I know in time that that's, you know, it's, it's going to get better. And anyways, love you all. I pray for everybody every day. So I pray for all of you, if you're, you know, watching this. Um, anyways, so thank you all and you all have a blessed weekend. God loves you.